Hey guys, I'm Evil Mastery, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Friday, and we are using E Dragons. Yes, the powerful dragons themselves, the buttholes of Yu Gi Oh! As I like to call them, just, ah, uh, you know? So, if I sound a little bit tired right now, it's because I am. I am drained, like, right now. Uh, if you guys, oh, as you guys know, I record, no, I record Vitamin Y and Daily Duel. And, vitamin Y, I'm tired because I just recorded a long, long, long ass episode. Like, just super long. Like, 45 minutes long. Yeah, that long. Special summon you by banishing you and you so I can plus. Damn, this nigga just quit. Uh, yeah, I want to activate my effect. <laughs> this guy says, like, fuck you, dragon. Nope, not doing that shit. Alright. Be right back then. Alright, we're back. You know, I'm not a fan of e-dragons. I'm not like, oh, I'm using e-dragons because I'm a douchebag and I want to use the best deck. I am use. I feel like I'm kind of obligated to use it, you know, in which, you know, I can't add daily duels without, you know, one of uh, you know, the top tier decks, you know. It just wouldn't make any sense. I mean, it really wouldn't. It wouldn't make any sense. Like, what am I doing if I don't have, like, the top tier decks for daily duels? Like, what is this? Oh, I can activate one of those per turn. Mm, okay, okay. I play both of them. I play Ravina and Shrine. Nope, I want that one. Put you in the graveyard, because why not? And I'll send you to the graveyard. And, of course, now I can special summon. So I'll special summon you by doing you and you. So as you guys know, I record these ahead of time, so I'm going to pretty much tell you about my Thursday. So, Thursday's class, I have art, well, drawing one, and I have some the breeze, and we'll go ahead and go for the Eater of Stars himself. Grar. And I pass to you. So drawing class, I'm I feel like I'm 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 getting to the extent of my skills. You know, today well not today, but well I'm recording ahead of time, so yeah. Today well at least I don't have to worry about you going off on me. What the hell card was that? What was that last card? Imperial Customs? Oh, is this that I can't destroy his uh trap cards shit? And what did he get? He got called haunted. All right. Okay. Uh, you know, today he wanted us to draw like fabric and flowers, and this is very detailed stuff. I completely avoided it. My fabric looked okay. I completely avoided drawing the flowers because he wanted detail. But sure, I can. I. I mean, I think I can draw detailed flowers. The problem is, is that. I'm like 10 feet away from the flowers, so how can I really, you know, see the detail of the flowers, you know, and draw them without me being that close, you know? Like, from far away, it doesn't seem like, you know, the farther away you give them something more blurred look, so how am I supposed to draw the detail of the flowers? And they're not big flowers, dude, they were pretty small flowers, like maybe like a foot tall. So, so as soon as I start my turn, they're probably going to go, bam, right? No? That is a big surprise. I thought you were definitely going to just go hit me with that, you know? Oh, put that in the grave. To put more dragons in the grave. See, see, th this deck is just ridiculous. You want to MST it? I really don't care. That doesn't save me. Alright, now you want to transform. That's fine. That's fine. So what are you going to summon, like Avion or something? Beast, Wing Beast, or Inset. Yep, I was right. A Apex Avion. Alright. Go ahead and activate Card of Consonants. You want to you bounce yourself back to the gate? That's fine. Go right ahead. I don't care. Okay. Alright, so right now I don't have any dragons, but I can make some dragons, so I should pretty much just attack him and uh, 
This card attacks is unaffected by other cards until the end of the damage step. So I can pretty much just run over his Avion, and I will be unaffected by anything he does. You know, so yeah, I'm just I'm just definitely just having a a hard time with drawing, and I'm just getting to the extent of my skills, and I'm kind of worried that you know you know maybe I'm just not up to snuff. Is that is that how you say that word? Up to snuff, up to par with, you know, some of the other artists in the class. We're starting to get to midterm, and, you know, I'm starting to get worried that maybe I won't be able to, you know, draw what I want to draw, you know, for my midterm. Also, I need to get, like, a portfolio and carry all my drawings, because I pretty much got to give them all of my drawings. Oh, there goes my field spell. Alright, here comes Avion again, alright. That's fine. What you gonna do about my Star Eater, though? So what, you're gonna declare an attack, bounce yourself back, summon with Divine... No I mean, this play is... Uh, he's pretty much just gonna loop. Essentially. Okay. You know, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? The Gooster Emerald went down to one because of, you know, dumb stuff like this, so. Okay. So, special summon get to search for a ninja. You know. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm just kind of worried. I gotta get a portfolio, get ready to wrap up all my drawings, and present them for my midterm. And then he'll tell me I grade, you know. And I hope I'm doing okay. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, I have A, a material. But, you know, I just don't want me to, you know, work my ass off just for him to say, hey, you got a, a D, you know, your drawings aren't as good as everybody else. Your drawings aren't up to snuff, you know. Because that would just suck. That would just suck. It would just devastate me, you know. I'm trying my best, and yet, you know, my best isn't the best sometimes. On professionalism, go. Hello? Yeah, I really want one. Probably... No, no, we go to Game World after that. Alright. So, summon that. Oh, I'm recording Daily Dolls right now. Okay. So, summon that. So, I pretty much just gotta worry about this card. Yes, I would love to use Tempest Effect. Tempest is awesome. Get me the Breeze. Because since you had such a hard time getting rid of Star Eater the first time, and you had to go Diamond Direwolf on my butt, how about I just make another one? Yep, yep, there we go. Uh, I'm not done talking, so let's squeeze in one more duel. We're back. Alright, we're back. So, uh, let's see, figure out who we're facing now. So, after that, I had English class, and in English class, uh, pretty much we're just talking about, like, emotional appeal in your writing and stuff. Um, it's nothing too big, nothing just like, oh, okay, that's just great. Infernities. Alright, we're going to get the Fernies. Well, at least I don't have to worry about, you know, him going completely off on me this turn, you know, and just barriering me. Because he did activate Pot, so can't special summon. That's pretty good. Set all the background. I'm going to get a Knight, yep. Drop Stygian. Can't special summon. Pass to me. Alright. Awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna activate Dragon Shrine. You know, e Dragon players should definitely play this in their deck. I mean, why not? You know, it's just so good. Drop him. Yes, I would like to send another one. Drop him. Activate Redox. Banish you and you. Response? Nope. Summon you. 
Alright, so one of the things that I did today, which I usually never ever do, is that there was a cute girl in my class, and instead of, you know, trying to play it along and try to be all secretive about maybe me liking her or something like that, or me being attracted to her, I decided to just go balls to the wall, pretty much just straight up, balls to the wall, and just go up to her and I was just like, hey, got a boyfriend? And of course she said yes, no, they're just like, it seems like there's no single girls in this world. If there are any single ladies out there, and you want some of, you know, the evil mastery, you know, you know hit me up. <laughs> anyway, you know. Go ahead and do that. Let me summon the breeze. And... Sure, why not? He's good. Now, uh, who do I want? I could get Star Eater, I can get Crimson Blader. <sighs> Star Eater. like him much better. So I don't even know why I summoned that. Oh well, I don't care. Boosh! Star Eater. Star Eater, attack! Eat the star! So it's unaffected. That's how I thought you couldn't activate anything when I first when I uh, think of the starter time. So it's just unaffected when he attacks. All right. So the end of the damage stuff. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. And now I sink these for twelve. No. <laughs> That'd be that would be kind of cheap. <laughs> I don't know if you could do that. Uh, so uh, you know I'm just I'm just gonna start doing that now. You know I'm I'm done I'm done beating around the bush. I'm done you know playing this whole game where you know. I, ju I try to get to know the girl, you know. I, I'm I'm just gonna state my uh, my uh, goals up front, just straight up, you know, just straight up, just say, hey, I'm looking for a girlfriend. You're cute. Are you single? Yes. Okay. Then let's get to know each other. Cause I don't like this whole being around the bush stuff, you know. Every single time I'm taking all this time to get to know the girl, and either she's not interested or she has a boyfriend, which is dumb. I should just you know set out on the table first, especially since I'm black. If it's not black, I can just straight up do that, you know? Infernities are so dumb. Dumber than dragons. Yes, they are. I hate them so very much. Even more than dragons. You like my song? It's called I Hate Infernities song. Yeah. Why do I have no judgment? Why you have three? Searchable ones, it's not fair. It's not fair. Fernies are dumb. And it would all be resolved if all their effects said you can only activate their effects once per turn. But, nope, you know, you can only activate the effect of Infernity and Necromancer once per turn. You can only activate the effect of Infernity Archfiend once per turn. But, nope. Because of them, and it's just like, oh, when, when, when they go to the graveyard and they come back, hey, I can use their fight again. Yep, get barrier. Because this is totally fair. Three solemn judgments. Three solemn judgments. Make a chain. <gasps> oh my god, how did I know? You know? Ooh, this turn is taking forever. You know, so I'm just gonna continue looking for a single girl, girlfriend. I uh, guess no girls, you know. Uh, it helps with my it, 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 it helps with my confidence because I, I have a hard time talking with girls, especially if they're cute. But you know what? If I set it on the table and I, you know, you know, I don't want them to figure out want me to. It's kind of like I like to play secretive. I well, I'm not doing that anymore. But you know, I like to play that whole secretive game. Where I'm just like, uh, I'll get to know her, and then she, she won't. She's she's not supposed to know that you know I like her, and then and then and then and then I'll tell her that I like her, and then she'll go out with me. But that, that's never worked, you know. So and then either she doesn't like me, or once again she has a boyfriend already, you know. And I don't need friends that are girls. I have friends that you know, I have other friends, you know. So I'm just gonna tell them out straight up. Just hey, all right. Infernity break. Yep, yep, yep. So he's probably gonna go ahead and break my uh, star eater, and then probably solemn judgment every single little thing that I, I do. I'm, oh, did I say solemn judgment? 
Oh, I meant Infernity Barrier. Oh, wait. What's the difference? Infernity Break? Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm screw it. If he's gonna, if he's gonna, if he's gonna bury me, he's gonna bury me. So there's nothing I can do. So I might as well just continue with my plays, as if you know nothing's happening. So I'll pitch you. A pulse. That's fine. So that's a break. That's a barrier. That's a break. And that's fine too. Cause that really doesn't phase me, you know? You know, it's kinda like, ooh yay, I you know, I discarded. So what? You know? I mean it would have been nice to probably put another tempest in a graveyard, but uh, that didn't phase me too much, so I'm okay. Uh uh, we'll go with you. And we'll banish you and we will banish you. Now, if I had another flyer monster, I'd definitely be blaster popping right now. Yes, I would love that. I'm gonna redox effect and get me another dragon. We're pretty much playing the tenacity game right now. Just who's derpier right now? So I can summon the Corsica and then sink for uh, eight, and uh, I can go for like a Stardust or something. But first, I'm going to run over the chain, hopefully, because it's only when he's summoned, right? And this guy, when he's normal summoned, once per turn, you can select. Oh, I can't stop that. I'm gonna kill the chain. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. In front of these are just woo. So, main phase two. I'm gonna normal summon a Corsica, and I'm gonna go ahead and sink for Stardust Dragon. Cause why not? Cause I'd really <sighs> just for another dragon, and I'll pass to you. So he's probably gonna kill somehow kill my Stardust, and I'm gonna try to drop Gores. He's gonna barrier my Gores, and he's gonna barrier any other play that I do next turn. He has other fiends. I saw him discard a tour guide. He must have a tour bus. There's a tour guide. So, all oh, right, Necromancer. Yep, that's that's totally great. I forgot about him. I, I forgot that he was a level 3 fiend, actually. So you're probably gonna, what, make a Levier, then summon this? Leviathan, alright. So we're just, I guess we're just gonna Kamikaze, I guess. You know, so... That's it, so whenever I see a cute girl, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, help with my self-esteem, you know? I'm just done playing around, no more. You have another barrier. Dumb. This is dumb. This is dumb. Why do you have three solemn judgments when I have none? You know? They banned solemn judgment because they thought it was a too powerful card and it was too handy. But why do you get three, you know? You know, I think I think it it, it skipped their mind. It skipped their attention, you know. And I think I think if uh, Konami remembered, you know, there's a few cards that they kind of forgot about, I believe. You know, they hit cards like uh, you know, ultimate offering, but they forgot cards like return from different dimension. They had cards like Solemn Judgment, but they forgot about barrier and infinity. Uh, they uh, hit cards like ultimate offering once again, but they forgot cards like rekindling. So, you know, there's just a handful of card cards. I'm gonna say cards. You know, I just so maybe I should have just kept the uh, title in the field. He would have been stronger. So. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna attempt to drop the Gores, but you're probably gonna barrier it, so that's fine, at least that's one barrier down. That's fine. At least that's one barrier down. You know? Just solemn judgment toss a butt. Totally fair. Yay.
One for one. You guys didn't even know I played that, did you? Because I really get it. I think this is the first time I've ever used it, actually, so... Ah. Uh, where the hell is Tempest? He's removed from play. That's right. Alright, well, time to activate some of these and just, you know, get plucked over, so. Start off with you. Uh, we'll banish you and you. You want a barrier? And, uh, we'll summon you by doing you and... I haven't done Redox this turn, so, yeah. Redox. Summon you. Yes. Redox, give me another Redox. I really need a return from different dimension. Or DDR, I haven't got that on duel either, like, shit. Battle phase. Attack. And attack. Oh, he wants to make sure that he has a face of infernity on the field so he can activate his other barrier. Oh, of course, and he gets another barrier. Oh, okay, Mirage this time. Yeah, that's totally fair. Ah, uh, just when I thought I might have had him. I uh, kind of just want to go for like a Stardust. I mean, a Scrap Dragon. Yeah, we're going to go for a Scrap Dragon. Scrap. Oh, you have a card in your hand! Yes! You have a card in your hand, so uh, you cannot activate barrier, because you have to eat a fat dick. Blow it up. No more barrier. No, no, no. And past you. You know? Like, where's my DDR? I haven't got much of anything this dull shit. So once again, it's a long video. <sighs> and here comes Mirage. You know? I'm surprised Infernities aren't doing better this format, you know? Oh. Uh, what the fuck? He's probably gonna get another barrier, right? Just to make sure that he gets this dual lockdown. Oh, Infernity Break. Uh, I don't know what this is. Because you just drew it and set it. Hmm. So he's probably gonna make, like, what, a Diamond Dire Wolf? Oh no, he's just gonna ram the Zen Mains into me and then pop me. It's fine, I guess. I'm running out of resources now. <sighs> Alright. Draw. Awesome, DDR. Uh, be awesome to use. Too bad I'm probably gonna get braked, but you know what? Screw it. He's gonna break it, he's gonna break it. No harm, no foul, right? Ooh, I can summon Stardust Dragon. Ooh, yeah, Stardust Dragon, yeah. Then I can block the, the break. Well, actually, now he can just play it. Oh, okay, no block, cool. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna chain. Alright, so now I just gotta figure out what that other card is. Nope, oh, we're about to find out, so. 
Once per turn. Special summon. Special summon. Alright, so. Uh, I'm gonna summon you. By banishing you. And. I don't need Scrap Dragon anymore. I'm not gonna lose this duel. Shit. Alright, now I can summon title. No, I don't want to though, because I'll banish the Stardust and I kinda want it. Do I? That's the question though, do I? I don't want to make a Draco sack because I feel like I'm just gonna get hit by the barrier and he will have an Infernity and no cards in his hand. So I can run over him and run over him and he won't be able to do anything. Eh, you know what, screw it. We're gonna go with it. Stardust will come back and protect me, so. Alright. Alright, so let's run over some of his monsters. So I'll run over that. And I'll run over that. Alright. Let's make a sack. Hopefully, cross my fingers. I mean, if it's a barrier, it's a barrier. Shit. At this point. My two tokens. Choo! Choo! And now I kind of just want to pop that back row. I don't care about Zen mains. I don't care about him. Because he only gets his effect when he's summoned, so. Yeah, I'm going to pop your back row. Oh, it's just one for one. Alright. Yes, I would love to revive Stardust. One, two. Two. Alright. I don't get what you're doing. You don't remember my token? That's fine. Does that mean to attack me? Oh, okay. Oh, there you are, Tempest. What took you so long? Of course, I'm going to activate my effect and summon some more tokens. Uh... Go up your back row. No, Stardust, why would you want to negate that? Come on. You know where we're going with this. So we're gonna summon who? You and you. Summon you. Activate you. Activate you. Summon you. Oh, I'll we'll grab you. And you, you will get me the breeze. The breeze? That'd be 32 to his... 14? Yeah, that's 14. No begin. Uh, summon the breeze. Actually, I feel like I could, I could be Rose the field, but nah. No. We're just gonna eat its star. And... Attack for game. Done. Ah, whew. So this one's a half an hour long duel. So I recorded, you know, over an hour of Yu-Gi-Oh today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. It's been really awesome. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the ballsy man. I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be like, hey, got a boyfriend? You got a boyfriend? You know? I don't care if I seem desperate. I really don't give a shit because I'm telling you my goal. You know? I don't give a shit anymore. So all the single ladies, hit me up if you're single. Alright? Because I'm sick and tired of all these girls having boyfriends. 
Alright, so. And I'm sick and tired of them stringing me along. No more of that. No more of that. I mean, I'm right out front. Not looking for friendship. I'm looking for a girlfriend. You seem cute. If you're single, let's get to know each other. Maybe this will work out, you know? So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> thank you guys for all the support. Uh, you know, everything's just been going great. I've been getting bigger. Uh, I got people uh, joining and viewing for uh, Vitamin Y. Um, Daily Duels is just doing great, and everything's just going pretty wonderful. I'm just worried about school in general. Just worried I might fall behind, but eh. It's that anxiety. I'll get over it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Black Wings.